Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out the bullet points. Um, today we've got a very cool gun. This is the Spikes Tactical Brown Recluse. Um, you guys have seen us review a couple of Spikes items before. I, I really like what they come out with. Um, this is no exception. This is an integrally, inte integrally, integrally, in the barrel and the suppressor are one piece. So this is a one stamp gun that ships in this configuration by Spikes Tactical. A um, couple cool things about it. Um, you'll notice that it's got a uh, chopped down ejection port here. That's because it's firing nine millimeter as opposed to 223, 556, or any of the common rifle calibers. Um, being that this is uh, nine millimeter, gives you a lot of uh, fun options as far as rounds go. Um, being that it's integrally suppressed, or again, I don't know if I'm saying that right, integrally, integrally, uh, suppressed, um, you've got a one-piece barrel and baffle stack system for the suppressor. Uh, you've got about six inches or so of barrel. The rest is a baffle system, which uh, quiets this thing tremendously. Uh, and what's really cool about it is there's a bleed-off port in the barrel portion. So you can take your off-the-shelf 115 grain, 147 grain, whatever, 9 millimeter ammo uh, that's not subsonic and run it through this, and it makes it subsonic by bleeding out a lot of the gases. Um, pretty sweet setup here. I've heard that you can actually run plus P ammo through it uh, without breaking the sound barrier. Now the sound barrier is uh, 1,126 feet per second. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, look at uh, how fast the rounds are coming out of it today. But again, right off the bat, nine millimeter, fully suppressed weapon system. It's got a uh, much larger brass deflector here. Um, I think that that might be key as, a, uh, you know, as it relates to the direction that the brass comes out, coming nine millimeter rather than 5.56. Five, um, and it ships in this configuration. Um, so a couple cool things about it. It's got a one stage trigger, which actually has a really crisp, uh, you know, not a whole lot of take up and a very crisp break. Um, it's got Magpul uh, MBUS flip up sights. It's got a Magpul stock. And then it's got uh, Spike standard 12 inch uh, BAR style uh, forend here. Um, again, they use the, the very wide BAR one um, so that you can fit this big old honking suppressor in here. A um, couple other features about it. It's got a uh, pretty cool uh, Spike tactical uh, grip on the back here. It feels very much like a Magpul one, you know, kind of the, the hard plastic, um, but it's got like, you know, spiders and crap in there, which is pretty neat. Um, all in all, this gun looks really nice. It feels really nice. It comes in at uh, just over seven pounds. I think it was seven pounds, three ounces. Um, so not a very, very heavy gun. Um, certainly a lot lighter than most ARs you'd see, you know, buying them from, you know, off the shelf and then putting your own suppressor on there. And the fact that uh, this is a one piece here makes it so that it's a one stamp gun. You don't have to go uh, through the NFA process for an SBR. Uh, and then wait and then get your gun and then go through another tax stamp process for the suppressor. Um, it's just your 200 bucks and you're all set because it all is one piece and, and ships in this configuration. So it's got a uh, T2 buffer, which um, Spike ships out with it. Um, you know, I think it's a little bit added weight there for, you know, the extra gas that the suppressor is putting back on it. Um, but really cool setup, man. It's a comfortable gun, feels very much like your standard AR. A little bit heavier on the front end, again, because of the baffles and suppressor, um, but very comfortable and uh, really excited to see how this thing shoots. Uh, we've heard a lot of good things about it. It takes Colt magazines, um, and I've heard rumors that they're actually coming out with a version that takes the Glock magazines. Um, and with the, with the magazine uh, bezel here so short, um, you can take pretty much anything uh, from you know Glock 9mm magazines all the way up until like the 26. I don't think the 26 mags will fit in there, but uh, you know your standard 17, 19, you know the big 33s, those will fit in there. Um, but the one we've got today is shooting the Colt magazine. So let's uh, run a couple rounds down range, see how quiet this thing really is, see if it's all it's cracked up to be. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and uh, throw some rounds down range with it. Now it's always a little bit difficult to uh, hear what suppressors really sound like over the speakers on your computer or your phone or iPad or whatever you're watching on. Um, so that's where you kind of got to trust us on this, but uh, I'll give you what I, what I think about it after we pop off a few rounds. Seems to be shooting just a little bit low.
<laughs> this thing's fun. No cycling problems at all. That thing ran 20 rounds pretty easily. You don't feel too much heat through the handguard here. Actually, the suppressor itself isn't hot at all. This is pretty sweet. Let's get some more. Uh, let's get some more time down range with it. Pretty accurate. Let's uh let's dump the rest of this mag. <laughs> Again, no misfires. Uh this thing seems to be running pretty good. So we're at about 75 yards and um, putting a few shots down on like a five inch steel plate. Um, again, I mean, you've really only got a pistol length barrel here. So 75 yards is um, not the easiest to hit something with that size barrel. Um, but this is, I mean, it's dancing right all around the target. Had a couple hits there. Um, this thing is pretty sweet, man. It's a, it's a very comfortable and fun gun to shoot. Um, I want to throw a couple more rounds downrange, see if I can see if I can get a little bit more accuracy out of it. Um, but uh, so far, man, this is this is very very impressive. Again, shooting about 75 yards. We were able to hit two of those plates. Took us a few shots to get to them, but uh, and gosh, for a uh, for a suppressed SBR, um, this is a pretty sweet setup. Um, I love the fact that it shoots nine millimeter. You know, there's hundreds and hundreds of different uh, you know load types and and you know ballistics and stuff you can get on a nine. You can run you know hollow points or soft points or whatever on this. So if you were to keep this close by as like a home defense weapon, that'd be pretty awesome. Um, especially if you ran like, uh, you know, some soft tips or hollow points, you wouldn't have to worry about over penetration. Um, if you were to, you know, go hog hunting or something or, or any kind of hunting that, uh, you know, you could get a little bit closer up and not have to worry about, you know, a two or 300 yard shot. Um, this is pretty awesome. Again, we were only shooting at five inch plates out there. So, you know, if that was an animal, like a, you know, hog size animal, you'd definitely hit it like, I mean, 9.9 .9 times out of 10. Um, it's pretty accurate, man. I'm really impressed with this thing. I've got, I don't know, maybe 100, 120 rounds through it, um, all within, you know, a couple minutes. And uh, the barrel is not hot at all. Um, this thing is really, really impressive. Guys, thanks for checking out uh, our quick snapshot review of the Spikes Tactical Brown Recluse. Um, as I understand it, Silencer Shop is the only place you can get these right now. Um, I looked on Spikes' website, didn't even find a whole lot of info there on it. But if you head over to silencershop.com and search Brown Recluse, you'll find this thing there. At uh, the retail price of just a hair over $1,800, I think it's 1805 um, this is probably the most fun you can have. Um, again, because you've got an SBR and a suppressor in one, uh, it's a one tack stamp gun. So that's saving you a few bucks right there. And I was kind of, as I was playing with this today, I was thinking about, you know, kind of trying to build something similar. And you would probably be into it for more than you'd buy this thing for if you were to piece it together yourself. 
Um, quality parts, Spikes makes really good stuff. Um, you know, again, they've got a solid trigger on here. It doesn't have a whole lot of creep, not a whole lot of take up, very crisp brake, very crisp return. Um, it's got an ambidextrous um, uh, selector switch. Uh, take standard Magpul gear, so you know if you wanted to dress up the grip, you want to dress up the stock, change out, whatever, um, it's great. Got a solid rail all the way across the top, so if you wanted to mount some better optics than the M-Bus that it comes with, you're welcome to do that. Um, the fact that it takes the Colt style mags is pretty sweet because you can find those all over the place. Um, and the really neat thing is the lower takes standard lower type materials. So if you wanted to swap out the trigger, you know, you wanted to um, change out your magazine release button or whatever, um, you, can, you can dress up the lower however you want, as well as the charging handle. Um, you know, charging handle is just pretty much a standard one. So nothing fancy there, but if you wanted to throw like a BCM gunfighter on there, like a, you know, Voltor or whatever, um, you can easily do that. So the fact of the matter is, very cool gun out of the box, comes with enough accessories to be really fun. You could take it to the range, have a lot of fun with it with your friends, um, certainly turn a lot of heads. Uh, and then after that, if you wanted to, you know, spend some time and energy, dressing it out to you know your configuration throw a different stock on the back different grips different sights whatever um, you can easily easily do that so very cool gun um, again pretty lightweight um, i love the one tax stamp idea um, you know i hate paying the government on anything so um, saving 200 bucks on an extra tax stamp there's pretty sweet um, again takes standard ammo i mean you can go to walmart and buy your ammo or you know buy it online or whatever and it'll turn your regular 115 grain to subsonic because of this little bleed out port here. Um, similar to a uh, AR style gas system. Um, so it will require a bit of cleaning. Um, you know, as we got towards, you know, two, 300 rounds through this thing, it started to gum up a little bit. I wouldn't say that it was like failing to fire or anything, but I could feel a little bit more grittiness, you know, when I pulled back the, um, the charging handle when I played with the bolts a little bit. So all in all, freaking awesome gun. 1800 bucks is probably very, very well spent. Uh, again, you can only get it at Silencer Shop right now, so check them out. And uh, thank you to HL Ammo, uh, who supplied the ammo for today's shoot. Um, check them out at hlammo.com. Um, they've got some great stuff in stock and really good prices. So check them out and uh, cruise over to Silencer Shop and take a deeper dive into one of these things, man. They are a fun, fun gun. So thanks very much, guys. Make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the Bullet Points.